You know, when I was um, younger, I used to have um, several dinosaur books. There was uh, one book in particular that I really loved, and um, the pictures and illustrations were so fascinating. And, you know, as I was growing up, um, I was brought up in the Catholic uh, school system. Um, my parents were originally Buddhist and later converted to uh, Catholicism. But uh, I had a lot of questions, a lot of object objections uh, about the Catholic Church. Um, throughout uh, my youth, I was searching for God, um, but uh, I never was truly uh, wanting, I guess, to know that He existed. And um, as uh, I, I guess, grew up in my teens, you know, I was searching for Him. I gave Him ultimatums. If God, if you exist, you know, show yourself to me. Otherwise, in one minute, I'm going to never believe or try again to search for you and you know I got no answer and I tried that many times in my youth and that's so why I decided basically God doesn't exist um, and well simply it was my heart wasn't ready um, I'd rather live according to my rule book <clears throat> and so I had a lot of questions about the Bible and about God you know um, in terms of uh, the age of the universe uh, and evolution and how that all fit together with the Bible since it mentions nothing like it and uh, why does God let people suffer and so I had all these questions um, about God and it wasn't so much that I really wanted to know part of it was simply that I wanted to kind of defy um, uh, in a sense God or if there was God uh, and just live the way that I wanted to and so evolution uh, shaped my life you know um, I wasn't accountable to anyone you know therefore um, I could do whatever I wanted um, and I began to live uh, a life of uh, you know destruction as I got older I got into trouble with the law um, relationships were falling apart um, you know I began reading and searching and doing different type of things um, and it, it got to a point in my life the really low point in my life at this time and um, I basically laid it all down and I said, you know what, God, I, I've tried it my way and I failed. And if you exist, I, I want to serve you. Um, you know, I'll step out in faith and I'll just believe. And um, that night, you know, I got on my knees, humbled myself and asked God into my life. And I became born again that night and just entered into a relationship with, uh, with Jesus, with God. And I started getting uh, my life back on track. Um, uh, my wife, which uh, we were separated at the time, I made amendments with her, um, you know, asked for forgiveness for just the things that I've done and, you know, we worked out and he just transformed our marriage and, and you know, um, now it's a family of five of us. And, um, you know, growing up, the dinosaurs, Neanderthals and fossils, I didn't know how it all fit into the picture, the big picture. So I began, you know, researching uh, evolution, the facts, the evidence, uh, then researching creation, you know, evidence and, and, and facts. And at that point in time, I really, before, I didn't know uh, the difference between them, really. Um, I just knew that, hey, I believed in evolution. Um, we have so many similarities to these animals, and, you know, therefore, we evolved. Um, but after uh, examining uh, you know, research and listening to people talk about it, uh, debate about it. Um, you know, my conclusion was that evolution didn't add up. There were so many fabrication and fakes, gross exaggerations, and um, the facts that are, the, they were just deliberate um, hoaxes. Um, and I didn't know they were hoaxes. I didn't know that they were fake or had been uh, proven to be uh, inaccurate. And uh, most of the time, the people involved were doing so in order to gain funding or meet their deadlines for the research so they came up with these uh, missing links and you know a lot of times the bones were found miles and miles away um, you know Piltdown Man uh, it was a human skull cap and an orangutan uh, his lower jaw the teeth were uh, filed and stained uh, different colors um, and that was our solid piece of evidence for 40 years um, but time and time again, you know, these missing links are exposed and they never stand the test of time. Um, and there's just been, if we did have, uh, you know, even transitional forms or animals evolving, we should have countless and thousands or millions of these fossils littered on the earth, yet we can't even find a single one. And um, just even in terms of the enzyme, uh, 
you know, all of the necessary things for an enzyme to, to come about, the chances of that are ridiculous. I think it's 10 to the power of 40,000, um, which is even more than all of the known, all of the atoms in the whole entire universe. So there's just so many little things that it just doesn't add up for evolution. Um, the, for example, also the brow bones on the Neanderthals. One thing that I learned was the human brow bone grows for the um, duration of human life. So those Neanderthals were just regular humans, but they lived longer and they also grew bigger brow bones. Um, and then, you know, in s not, not too long ago, um, but modern day as well, you know, we found T-Rex blood cells in bones. Um, if, you know, dinosaurs evolved for millions or billions of years, then that those blood cells should be completely destroyed. Um, and then we have the Plexi River footprints, you know, footprints of man and dinosaur side by side. And when you look at historical documents, for example, uh, in ancient China, they... Uh, document how the emperor has um, dragons that he was raising to uh, pull his chariots um, you know they use uh, dragon bones for different medicines um, Alexander the Great when he invaded India he brought back reports about um, uh, hissing dragon living in a uh, cave there uh, you know Heroditus talks about the griffin uh, type of dinosaur guarding nests uh, around an area that he went in Asia uh, and even Beowulf, the story of Beowulf is about a T-Rex um, that he basically pulls off one of its arms and kills it that way. Um, so throughout history, you know, dinosaurs have lived with man. Um, you even have Peruvian uh, rocks that are carved, um, all these different various types of dinosaurs. And they even depict accurate dermal frills until only recently did scientists uh, find out um, that there were these circular type of patterns uh, when they found preserved skin on a dinosaur. I never really uh, understood why evolution and creation was such a big debate um, but uh, you know the reason why it's it's such a, an interesting thing is because you know it, it shapes who we are our origins you know where we come from it shapes the mind you know moral ethics and you know ultimately we're accountable to either no one or were accountable to creator that um, that made us you know people would rather believe in evolution and hide behind the theory of evolution because they don't have to be accountable to a god and they want to just continue hiding behind that and that's one of the major motivations um, you know that I had in my life at that time I would rather just kind of okay you know I'm gonna put it back um, on the back burner and just ignore um, if there's any truth behind God. Ultimately, uh, life is uh, going to pass us by like in a blink of an eye, like a flash of light. You know, we're in this world uh, for a moment and then an eternity uh, will be uh, somewhere else. You know, whether that's heaven or hell, uh, we have to decide. And um, evolution and creation, you know, the, the viewpoint that you take, it's your worldview, it's where you're, it's it, how it shapes the way you look at the world and the way the decisions that you make and um, when I was back in that place the lowest point of my life you know I wanted to just give up and I was just sick of life but you know I, I took that last step uh, and said God if you are there I truly will serve you I want to serve you and I want to live for you if you're there and uh, like in Luke 7 7 it says Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find it. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. And you know, I believe it's so true. If you truly are searching for God, I believe he will reveal himself to you. And um, you know, that invitation is open for anyone and for everyone. And so God's uh, invitation is open. You know, he wishes that nobody perish, but that all will uh, live with him in his kingdom. And maybe you haven't uh, put him in first place in your life and sought him out, but uh, I encourage you to do so, and uh, it's a decision you'll you'll never regret. So in closing, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe or like or favorite, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. God bless, guys.